Welcome to the Ambassador Vlogs, and today is finally the day we are going to fix the transmission in this car. And by fix, I mean we're going to swap out the bad one for a good one. We're going over to my friend's house. He picked up a Chrysler Torque Flight off of Craigslist, which actually came out of a 1974 AMC Ambassador. And we're just going to take the bad one out and put the good one in. All right, so we're at a stoplight now, and you might be able to hear when I pull away what the transmission sounds like. It shifts into second, fine, but then when it goes to shift into third, you can hear slippage and the motor will actually rev up a little bit before it clunks in. My fear is it's only gonna get worse and I really wanna take this car on a long road trip and the last thing you wanna do is get stranded in the middle of nowhere with a burned up transmission. Second, third, oh, right there. You can hear the Part of the reason I think this car had problems is there was a really bad leak on the underside of the transmission and I think it was driven without enough fluid in it. And aside from leaving embarrassing red stains everywhere you parked it, it also causes things not to be properly lubricated, friction builds up, things overheat, pieces get warped or burnt out as they say. So thankfully it's good enough to drive on small trips like this and hopefully after it gets fixed be able to go on some big road trips. That guy totally ran a stop sign. But I guess when you drive an infinity, you can do whatever you want because you're just cool like that, so. So my friend that we're taking this to, his name's Homer, and I jokingly call him the AMC Whisperer because he is a really smart dude. He knows his stuff. He's owned all kinds of American Motors and Jeep and Chrysler products. I mean, he knows these things inside and out. In fact, it was his blue AMC Rebel convertible that we featured in one of our Time Warp test drive videos, and it was also his red AMX that was featured on Motor Week for the Muscle Car Memory segment. So we're on our way to his house right now, and hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have a working transmission in this car. All right, as you can see, some time has passed, and as you can probably hear, I seem to have come down with a bit of a cold, but I'm not going to let that stop my excitement because the transmission has been swapped successfully. So here, just take a listen. We're going to go through the gears, and it really does sound and feel much better. Check it out. There's second. Third, you can actually feel shift shock now. It doesn't just bleh into third gear like it was earlier. And really, all the credit goes to my friend Homer. He hooked me up. So I took the car over to his place. He took a look at it. And the first thing he said is, boy, your rear end is really sagging down the, the car. And so he said I should get new rear springs. And I thought, well, you know, I trust his judgment. And when we pulled the old springs out and compared them to the new springs he'd ordered, Oh my goodness, the difference was huge. And then when we put those springs in, I noticed the difference immediately. Uh, when I first sat in the front seat, I thought, boy, did somebody move my seat back? It feels like I'm leaning forward more. But it was just the springs, and once I took it out on the road, I immediately noticed that it just felt stiffer and a little more secure, a little less wobbly. And I definitely noticed in the turns, it felt like there was less understeer. I don't know if my tires just have more bite now that the car is you know, has better weight distribution. I'm not a suspension engineer, but from just the seat of the pants feel alone, I definitely could tell there was a difference in the way the car drove. So first it was the springs, then it was the transmission. And as anybody who's ever worked on a car knows, you start something and then you run into other things, and then you run into other things, and then a month and a half has passed and finally you're done. Unfortunately, I wasn't there for most of the work he did on the transmission, but as he was pulling it out, he told me, he's like, man, the guy who worked on this last did all kinds of crazy stuff, put way too much Loctite on everything. I mean, but he got the old transmission out. He got the Craigslist transmission from a 1974 Ambassador in and everything all hooked up and fluids topped off and all connected and collected and detected. And now here we are. And it really does feel great to drive a car where there's something that had been bugging you for a long time and it's finally fixed. I don't want to say it changed the entire character of the vehicle. This ambassador still is what it is, but 
it just feels like some of the loose ends were tied up. It just feels like when you put on a shirt and it fits correctly and it's not all baggy. Speaking of shirts, this one's kind of baggy, but I got another red, white, and blue shirt. This one actually has stripes of teal in it also. But uh, since I got so many positive reviews of my last shirt, I thought I'd better add another one to my collection. So, new transmission, new shirt. Unfortunately, I checked the weather today and it's supposed to snow soon. And with snow comes salt on the roads, and with salt comes rust. So we're going to tuck away the Ambassador safe and sound far away from all that scary snow and salt, which means it's going to get hosed down and cleaned out, and some fuel treatment, and we'll tuck them in safe and sound for a long winter's nap. But there's plenty of time to dream about all the adventures we'll go on when springtime comes, and of course I'll drop in to check on him to make sure he doesn't get lonely. And I'm not going anywhere. We've got several big projects here on Auto Moments coming along that you definitely don't want to miss. So until then, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.